It's our first day here in Morocco and the weather is brilliant, if not a bit hot for some of the guns. The people are really welcoming and the views are absolutely fantastic. We arrived at the hotel yesterday evening and after a quick refresh, we got to experience some of the fine dining the Widian has to offer. Amazing. Today is our first day of shooting and we are having breakfast at the hotel first then straight to picking our guns and seeing if we can get them to fit. After we inspected and selected our guns, we headed back out to the front of the hotel. Before we go, it's just a quick matter of drawing pegs and we're off to the first drive. I feel sorry for number two, who's number two? Me. And sandwich. <laughs> As we are heading up into the mountains, the excitement amongst the guns is building up. We have some amazing people with us here in Morocco and we are really looking forward to seeing the Barbary Partridge fly. We have been told they fly well and make a very challenging bird to shoot. Bravo. Bravo. 
Right, so these are the Barbie partridge then, yeah. Matthew. Um, so what is this, a male or a female? Uh, so that one is a male and you can tell by yeah, the Yeah, by spurs. Little, little yeah, by little spurs, yeah. yeah. Same in the, um, I think, that one's a female. Yeah, so you can see yeah, yeah. I know it's similar to our French partridge that we have at home, but the neck, it's so pretty. They're yeah, a lovely bird. And underneath the, the wings. Yeah, so that's right. Colour, yeah. yeah, and on the, on the backs as well. Yeah, so um, they're native to the um, the Atlas Mountain. I think you get them on uh, Gibraltar and Malta as well. Do you really? Yeah. yeah. They're a pretty bird. They fly well. Yeah. I'll give them that. You were saying yesterday that um, when they're an older bird, they're a lot bigger. Yeah, so, so they, they they just keep growing. They're, they Do they? They're a fairly good size. I mean, we've said about, about the size of a hen pheasant. I'll say this is a nice yeah. bird, this one. Yeah, probably. Yeah, this year's and the same with that one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Got a few, Glenn? Huh? Got a few? No, I just two. Just two. Yeah, oh, that's yeah. All. I, I thought you got more. I got two. No, no I don't. Think the three of us really. Andy had a few more, but yeah. it was all up like that end, wasn't it? But yeah, was, they were totally. I didn't expect them to be like that at all. No, no, nor me. They were they like, up like that. It's weird, isn't it? Yeah. I expected them to be like the grouse. There was a couple it's, up here that went straight up, and it was like, oh, yeah. that's, uh, that is quite different. Yeah. Has you got much? Uh, I shot, well, I two and a half. Feathers come past and oh, that one was a bit close, wasn't it? Was you on it? Yeah, I was on that one. Yeah. And then there was one went round, come out, it went down there. I oh, see so you knocked one down there and yeah. then you hit another one. Oh, yeah, that's it, yeah. Well, but yeah, both legs down, so yeah. they should pick that. So three, I had seven shots. So first two I shot at, it was one going back. Didn't touch it, and then I'd done the same again. I had double at it, didn't touch it. Did you say a long one on it? Yeah, yeah. I didn't know it was you, though. I see a long one. Yeah. It's come in so quick, isn't it? It has, isn't it? Yeah. I saw it up the top then, I thought, oh, that one come through. You see it just, just before yeah. we started shooting, you just yeah. see it. Rolling come. in, yeah. 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 I thought, oh, that one coming, it's warm enough that it kicked that away, but bloody hell, isn't it? <laughs> After a few minutes into the second drive, the fog really started to come in. We then had to stop the drive for five minutes or so, just to let the fog move across the mountains. Unfortunately, no one can stop Mother Nature. After resuming the drive and another brief shoot, the fog came in again. We then decided to finish the drive and head to the next one. Let's hear what Andy and Gary's experience has been like so far. I thought they'd be coming down like that. On yeah, but I'll tell you, some of them on, that, on this last drive, mm. thought they went well. That, that one you pole axed in the middle. Oh, yeah, pleased with that. I bet you was, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was surprised. <laughs> Not as me. <laughs> <laughs> but no, you no, had no. Some good ones on the right hand yeah, side. I did. One was going to Paul. Um, yeah. I just thought Paul's going to miss it, so I thought I'll take I it. I see it. I heard him say something. I'm not quite sure what it was. He swore. He swore. Yeah. But no, that was yeah. good. No, it's, well, as you can see, look, fog yeah, coming in. It. You can't even see. You can hardly see backs. I mean, you can see a bit behind us, but you can hardly yeah. see backs. And that's what's been happening. Yeah. We had to stop the last drive because the, the fog came in, so we stopped it. But. But the thing is, the partridges, when, when it's foggy like that, well, you see, didn't you? They, they, and the same with pigeons, they just didn't want to That's go, it. did they? It's just straight up and back. Yeah. But it is lovely countryside. Oh, is it ever? It's been lovely. It, oh, where we're staying is just phenomenal. And having a swim in that infinity pool this morning. <laughs> Seven o'clock, that was a bit <laughs> fresh. Up, didn't it? it did, that was a bit fresh in there, wasn't it? God. 
Shane Bax wasn't there to video it, but God, that was cold. Well, I think we've got another two drives. Yep. And then uh, I think I'll have a word with Matthew and see if we can go down and do a bit of fishing. All the guns enjoyed a fantastic showing on the third drive. It was incredible. What seems to make the Barbary Partridge more challenging is their small size too. With plenty of fast birds in foggy conditions, beaters making noises we have never heard before and the banter of the team, this has been an exciting day so far. Let's see what the last drive brings.
Last drive complete. What a first day it has been. The atmosphere here in the mountains is something else. The weather conditions change so quickly, but that only makes the shoot different and more exciting. We have just been told that we have been invited to the gamekeeper's home for some traditional Moroccan food. He is a farmer like Andy, so I am sure they will have lots in common and lots to talk about. Pleased to meet you. Thank you for the dinner today, that was fantastic. Can you tell us a bit about your house? Do you want um, to take us around? Yeah, if you can. Yeah, if you can take us around and have a look around. So it's been 200 years that they've had the house. 200 years? This is 200 years old? His great-grandfather was the one that built this house. When the French came to Morocco, yes, and they would sometimes attack the villages, they had these windows to shoot out of. And you wouldn't see where the shots coming from. Huh? So you've got, you've got a big field of vision out there, but you can hide behind the walls. Exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Protection from the outside, so that yeah. they have a smaller target to shoot in. They used to, they used to put the horse their stable. horses here. Ah, this is a stable. Yeah, just, just rocks and, and uh, mud. Really? Yeah. So, if they have like a for their sheep and this is where they put they give them the food. food. Ah well, yeah, yeah, yeah. So when they want to prepare the sheep for the holiday, they need the sheep to be like bigger, fatter. Fat, fatten them up, yeah, yeah, yeah. They bring them here, <clears throat> they put them they, they give them like the food that fattens them up. Yeah. Uh, it's natural stuff. Um, but it's just to make sure, like to control what they are eating. This is the kitchen. Salam alaikum. La base. Des lions coco. Coco. Hello. Hello. Thank you for the food. It was mwah, lovely. These are all almond trees. I'll give it any go, mate. Show it up to me. Yeah, yeah. Just said you won't get sick. Coco. They say you can eat them green. I've never had. Much good. Oh. I wouldn't recommend it. Oh, they're sour. Can you ask him how he sows it? I'm, I'm, a, I'm a farmer, see? The water comes from God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only. They, yep. don't have, they don't give it water. Right. So they have the donkeys. Yeah. And they tie the... Ah, like this, a plow. Yeah, the plow that they right. plow. Yeah, yeah. So at the end, they'll bring the donkey again and they'll bring men from the village they yep. come they collect everything yeah and then they take it to the machine that they use oh the thrashing the, machine yeah and so yeah there's two and the way they separate it separated they yeah. use either a tractor or there's another machine that they put the donkey on and it goes in circles oh yeah just crushes it looks good yeah. looks good and then to top off a fantastic day we went back to the hotel for a spot of fishing at the lake nearby <laughs> 